Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Dose of Hope. I am Chef Bob, and our music is repeating itself again because I keep it on loop. <laughs> welcome to the Daily Dose of Hope. I am Chaplain Bob. Thank you so much for being here. The Daily Dose of Hope is a place that you can come to on a daily basis to get to know God better. That's right. That's what the Bible is written for. It's so that you and me and everybody in the world... Um, can read and find out what God, who he is, why he made us, well, how much he loves us, that he loves us. A lot of people don't know that God loves us. And um, we also have an opportunity to look into the Old Testament and the New Testament. Today, we're going to be, you can see over here next to me, we're going to be in the Old Testament. We're going to be in Psalm 59, first time ever um preaching on Psalm 59. We're going to be in verses 16 and 17, and I'm titling this Sing Out Loud. So let's pray, and then let's get into this. Lord God, Mighty Father, we thank you and praise you for being a good God, a powerful God, a mighty God, the one and only true God. And thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for caring for us. Thank you for being our friend and father in heaven. We praise your holy name. Lord, as we go into your word today, help us to focus solely on your word and not any of the distractions that are around us right now. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord, for all this in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Okay, um, if you look down below me here, there's a description box down here. That's where I will put all of our Rumble channel, our YouTube channel information. If you would go to Rumble and YouTube and click on those uh, links there and then please subscribe to our pages on Rumble and on YouTube. Also, the third thing you can do is go to our, our Facebook page, which is The Daily Dose of Hope. Look it up, like it, and follow the Facebook page that's called The Daily Dose of Hope. That would help us out as well. And we also have a Facebook group called The Daily Dose of Hope. You can look that up. That's where we have more interaction, more prayer requests, things like that. Okay, let's get into our... Um, study for today. We're going to be in Sing Out Loud in Psalm 59, verse 16 and 17. Originally wrote this uh, two or three days ago, and I'm finally getting to it today. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's read the two verses. Again, this is titled Sing Out Loud. But I will sing of your power. Yes, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. For you have been my defense, my refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I will sing praises. For God is my defense, my God of mercy. Okay. So I believe that this is a psalm of David. I can look that up real quick on my Bible app here. I'm actually on BibleGateway.com. And uh, let's do that. Let's look that up real quick to make sure we know who we're giving credit to here. Let's see. And of course, it's not coming up. Let's see if we can find a different... Okay, here we go. Usually at the front of the psalm, they will tell you who this is written by. And it says, to the choir master, according to Do Not Destroy, a mictem of David when Saul sent men to watch his house in order to kill him. So this is a psalm of David. And like I said, usually every single book in the Bible tells you who's, who's writing it, who's the author of it. And then if you want to know more details about who David is, or you want to know more details about who Paul is, or you want to know who, you know, the Apostle Luke is, you can always, uh, some Bibles have additional help that you can look at, but a lot of times you can go on a simple duck, duck, go search, and you'll be able to find that information. Okay, so this is a Psalm of David, and it says here um, in verse 16, but I will sing of your power. Now, this is why I, I uh, titled this Sing Out Loud. Because these are things that you can sing. David was probably singing this. From what I hear, David had a very good voice. And so if you would, um, if you find yourself in a difficulty or any kind of trouble, 
you can actually sing prayers to God. You can actually sing of his love. You can actually sing about his words and about what you read in the Bible out loud. And so David did that. He said, but I will sing of your power. God has power. That's most important for you to understand. God is all powerful. And then it says, David says, yes, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. Um, I'm assuming that because he was being tracked down by King Saul's uh, men, that he was singing of the mercy that he was still alive, that he didn't get caught, and nobody came and attacked him. Then it says in verse 16, it says, For you have been my defense, given God credit for protecting him. And he says, You're not only my defense, but you're my refuge. It's, you're where I go in my day of trouble. David appreciates God's protection, and he appreciates God being available to him all the time so that he can go there when he's having his most difficult days. A lot of us in life here in 2022, uh, what do we do? We go to the bottle, right? We go to, the, to a drug. We go to some kind of an escape to get away from our difficulty. But not David. He says his refuge is God. Verse 17, to you, and again he's referring to God as being all-powerful. He says, to you, O my strength, I will sing praises. I'm praising you, Lord. Um, I'm thanking you, Lord. And you notice every time we pray, and I do this in my personal prayer, it's not just on, on air when I do this, but I pray uh, usually at the very, very beginning of my prayers, I thank God for being all powerful. I sing his praises. Um, a pastor of mine in the past said that this is a very effective way to, to, pre, to sing, or very effective way to pray, and it's also biblically based. If you go to Matthew chapter 6 and you read, uh, quote unquote, the Lord's Prayer, um, it's actually an instruction of how to pray you will see that one of the things that Jesus explains at the very, very beginning is praise his Father. So as it says to you, to you, O my strength, I will sing praises, for God is my defense. God's my defender. He's my protector, my God of mercy. Now remember, mercy is one of those things that um, we don't deserve mercy um, but God is free to give it to us. He's willing to give it to us. And we should thank him when we recognize his mercy. You're driving down the road and a, a, the accident happens behind you. Or you're driving down the road and the, the car in front of you runs, you know, runs the red light just before you get to the intersection. Thank God for his mercy during that time. He's also a protector of you. He's your He's your defense in that situation. For all you know, he slowed your car down supernaturally. Or he caused you to wait at the previous light because he didn't want you to get to this next light too quickly. So these are all ways that you can praise God. You can tell him how merciful he is. You can let him know how much you appreciate him being your defense. And when you do that, you are going to see that God is going to become much more alive uh, for you. His relationship with you and your relationship with him will come alive. You will see things that you've never seen before that God will open up the doors for you. And I'm not saying that like some online preacher that, you know, makes up these things. I sound a bit charismatic, I'm sure. But a lot of times people will uh, make up all these stories about God. My my intention here is for you to look directly at the Bible and see the promises that are in the Bible and then go to the bank with those promises. Those are always going to be true. Now, a lot of people say, I'm going to claim it. I know there's a charismatic movement where people say, I claim that Bible verse. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, that just simply means the same thing uh, when I look at it and I go, okay, that's a promise of God. I believe it. I know it's always going to be true. It's the same thing as saying I claim it. But a lot of people do that. They say I claim it in the name of the in the name of Christ, and they make up a big to do about it. The reality is, when you read it and you know that the Bible is the truth, 
you can be rest assured that that is going to happen in your life. Let's bow our heads. Lord God, mighty Father, we thank you and praise you for being a mighty and powerful God. We love you. We praise your holy name. Thank you for Psalm 59, this Psalm of David, and reminding us that you are our strength, you are our protector, and you're a God of mercy. We love you, Lord. We praise your holy name, and it's in your Son, Jesus Christ, that we pray all of this. Amen. Okay, so again, what I needed to do is go down here below me. I'm going to look down there in the description box. Go to the Rumble, go to the YouTube page, uh, Rumble and YouTube channels, and subscribe. And then the third thing you can do is go to the Facebook page of the Daily Dose of Hope, like, and please follow that page so that we can get more algorithms going. I don't even know what an algorithm is, really. But get an algorithm going, and so that that means that more people can see our videos, and ultimately more people can come to know God better, and hopefully make a decision when they're called to follow Christ and become a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, everybody, God bless you. We will see you tomorrow at Hope Hills Sunday Morning Gathering. We want to invite all of you to come back at Hope Hills Sunday Morning, um, Hope Hills Sunday Morning Gathering at 10 a.m. We'll be back here live with a brand new message. You want to be here for that because that's going to be a great time together. And then uh, maybe tomorrow after my Hope Hills Sunday Morning Gathering, I'll have a new hairstyle because... My hair needs to be um, cut. It's been a long time since I've gone to the barber. So God bless all of you. We will see you next time. Take care. Here's a little bit of our opening sounds. A little bit of sound of New Orleans. God bless you now. Bye-bye. <laughs>